Hello everyone, it's me, Vintage Gaudi. In this video I want to show you this beautiful Polly Pocket set that has a special meaning for me. So let's get started after the intro. This Polly Pocket set has a special meaning for me because back then when I was a little child I had some Polly Pockets, the normal one, the vintage one, but I also had this Polly Pocket. And this Polly Pocket was the last one I bought with my pocket money back then when I was a little child. Unfortunately this set here is not the original one that I had as a child. I sold them stupidly for candies. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm totally regretting now, but I'm collecting back those I had as a child. And now I do also have this one here. Yes, it is a little modern Polly Pocket from the year 2001, but it's also part from my memories about my childhood with Polly Pocket. Funny ways, I can totally remember how I bought this set and I want to tell you this story. We used to live near the border to Austria and there is a place that is duty free and I remember what I then did. I entered the store, it's a store where you mostly can buy food, beverage, um, jewelry and they had also a children's toy section. Of course as a child I go immediately to the toy section and there this bag was hanging on the shelf like this and totally catches my eye. I know that I had some pocket money took with me and I do know the price that I paid for them, so it was 90.95 Swiss francs and then I paid it and I was so lucky, I couldn't wait to go home. I opened this bag in the car like this and I immediately wanted to dress her up, but I remember funny ways the words from my mom. She was telling me don't do that because you got little pieces in here, you can lose them in the car, so don't do it, wait till home. And yes, obviously I had to wait till home because I didn't want to lose any pieces. And that is the story behind it. I totally remember where I bought it, I totally remember hanging it on this shelf, the price, and I even remember the words of my mom and that is insane. And now I want to took you part of it and show you the each single pieces that came with this fashion poly, hip styling and what's the meaning of it. This fashion poly is like a runway or a stage where she can sing. You have this fold out piece, it's basically cardboard, but it is like a stage so the poly can walk here, sing, dance or do a runway. This set came with this cardboard microphone so you can put them one in another and then the microphone should stand on its own. Yes, <laughs> that is the microphone for Polly so she can sing or as I told you you can use this one as a runway, as a fashion runway because we got a lot of fashion pieces. In total on the box it says 26 pieces and this is the main character Polly from this set. She is obviously bigger than the vintage Polly Pockets and she looks more like a Barbie doll than a Polly doll, but she's, she has some differences from Barbie, so we can identify her totally as Polly. The reason why she looks more like a Barbie doll is that Mattel bought the license from Bruber Toys. Mattel is also owning Barbie and they changes Polly more like into a Barbie. On this Polly Pocket you can change her clothes. The special thing about it is clothes are made out of rubber fabric. That's not something everyone likes and I have to say I don't like it nowadays but back then as a child I had no problems with that so it was a toy and I played with that and that was nothing special about it. And you can see her face totally changes obviously, it looks more like a teenage Polly Pocket, she got some red lipstick on, bigger eyes. She has her hinge, I think, so she can sit down, she can move her hands and legs and her head is also movable. Now to the fashions that came with this Polly Pocket set. There's a lot of different fashions, so you can totally play a fashion runway. One of the sets is this 
cardigan pullover in yellow and we got this trouser with some patches on that was totally on vogue back in the 2000s. <laughs> I, w I wanted to say in the 90s, but this one is a 2000 set, so it's totally a fashion pack, fashion from 2000s. We have also this amazing gala dress, and I remember this one was my favorite to put on her. Unfortunately, it's broken up here, but that is the, the thing with this rubber clothes and fashion and fabric. So yeah, it breaks off a little bit, sad, but this was my favorite dress to put on her back then. We also have this one shoulder piece and the mini skirt in matching colors. And we do also have this blazer in purple and mint color and the matching trousers with this typical belt that was totally in back in the 2000s. <laughs> and we do also have this cute dress that came with. Sadly, this color is a little bit sun damaged. It should be more purple. This really cute summer dress, I liked it also very much back then. It was so cute on her. And we do have this piece that looks like a karate top <laughs> with a green belt. Um, a special piece for a fashion runway, but it looks okay, it looks cute. Here we got the three bags that came with Polly. And here we have the shoes that came with this Polly set. The shoes are also made out of this rubber fabric. They're, yeah, really plastic, <laughs> but they are easy to put on her. She got some stilettos, some boots, some kind of ballerinas, so a lot of shoes to match to her outfit. Polly did also came with this wig, where you can place on her ponytail and then it looks like she got curly hair. She has also a wig holder and she came with a brush and a comb that she actually can hold in her hands with this handle. And this set also came with this feather boa or stola in a purple color. And Polly did also came with this pink stand. So you can display her. This one is a typical thing from the Barbie toy lines. So Mattel definitely decided to take some Barbie parts on the Polly Pocket toy line back then. And I forgot about the outfit from Polly. She is wearing a purple dress with some light blue details on it. I think these ones should be some kind of mandalas that were back then really in. And she's wearing boots in the same color as her dress. Now I changed the clothes from Polly. I'm doing a little close up for you so you can see the details much better. What do you think about this Polly Pocket hip and style set from 2001? Write me down in the comment section below. For me it has a special meaning because it was the last Polly Pocket that I bought back then as a child. And the fact that I do remember the circumstances how I bought it and the discussion about this set makes it more special for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up, click the subscribe button and we'll see us in the next video with Vintage Gaudi. Bye!